Hello! Today we are going to make Kiara's food. Can I put you down? I can't make your food when you're on me. Can you get down? Oh, we want to weigh her first. So we turn the scale on. Let's see if I can get her to sit in there. She's not going to like this, but uh, let's get a stop. 3.9. So we are at one pound and nine ounces, I believe. She weighed 15 ounces when I had her at three weeks. Let's push this over here. Now it's kind of out of the way. So she's gained a little bit of weight. She's seven weeks now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of walk through um, how I make her food. <laughs> she's hungry, so she's trying to get food out of it. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, though, is the um, monkey biscuits that you've probably already heard about. Um, most monkey parents give them the monkey biscuits. Here, Kiara doesn't seem to like it by itself. I've tried to get her to gnaw on it, um, and that's fine, too, uh, but she has to have it in her diet. Uh, our veterinarian said that the monkey biscuits have all the nutrients they need, um, and that she doesn't need to eat anything else. That's kind of... We're going to feed her other things just to kind of keep things interesting, but um, but I have to make sure she gets her monkey biscuits every day. So he says for every pound of weight, they should have one monkey biscuit a day. So uh, I've already got some made up that I've already kind of uh, crushed up, but I was going to show you what I do. And there's a variety of ways you can do it. You could use a blender or a food processor or, you know, different ways. This is just kind of how I do it. Move this out of the way so everybody can see you playing. Yeah. So what I do is I just put one in a, well, I put a bunch of them in a baggie, and I just kind of roll, roll the rolling pin over them. Over and over and over. Resituate. Over and over. So yeah, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can ground them up. Um, and as you can see, it really, one biscuit doesn't make a whole lot. Um, so, We're grounding up the monkey biscuit, and Frankie's helping us. You see Frankie? You, you know, you want to get on Frankie. Okay, so we are done with the rolling pin. And now I have a ground up biscuit. And like I said, I already had some made, so I'll just pour this one in there. What are you doing, Kiara? What are you doing? Uh -huh. Can you hold on while I do this? Can you hold on tight? Mm -hmm. There we go. So there we have a crushed up monkey biscuit. Okay. So what I do is, just about every day we have to make up a bottle of um, formula for her. And basically I'm just taking a, a, a water bottle and um, pouring some of it out. Not a whole lot, the water's about right there. Um, I've kind of measured it all out. Um, and our little scoop, where did our little scoop go? Did I put it in here? I do tend to put it in here. I don't know if we can get that off. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, so this right here is a Similac, and it really doesn't matter probably which type of baby food or baby formula, um, just so long as they're getting baby formula. Uh, so, what I do is I put about I don't know, five scoops or so. And this is going to make a bit of a mess. Let's see if I can get her to hold on enough that I don't have to hold her. What I usually do is just kind of put my hands around the bottle so that it doesn't go everywhere. And I still seem to make a pretty good mess with it. Um, so there's two. Oops. There's three. Four. I usually do five because they're not all full scoops. Okay, so we got five in there. We will set this aside. Actually, we, we're done with this. We don't need any more of this, so I can put it back here. Uh, next is I put about a scoop of the Gerber um, baby rice cereal into the bottle. Like that. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. And then... Um, and then what I do is I put just a very, very bit, maybe not even like a, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a scoop or so, 
but it's pretty much almost an entire uh, monkey biscuit, and I just kind of mix it in there. Okay, I do this. Let me put this on. Okay. Uh, then what I do, and the reason why I do it in the bottles like this is it's really easy to mix it all together. Yes, Brady. You want to try some, don't you? You would like the monkey biscuits. Okay. So I got it all like this, and then I can just shake it really good. Like I said, there's different ways. I probably could use a blender or food processor or something. But this works really good for us. So I got it shake, shake up really good. And you're looking up all the crumbs, huh? Okay. So we put that right there. Um... Then what I do is, which we're going to wait a few minutes to do this, because once she sees this part, uh, she goes a little crazy. Okay, next thing is, now up until about a week ago, um, I was feeding her just the formula bottle. Hang on one second, I forgot I needed to get the pumpkin out of the fridge. Okay, I was just feeding her um, the, uh, the, the baby formula with the... Uh, with the baby rice and the biscuit in it. Um, but about a week ago, <clears throat> I started putting um, some pumpkin, making up a little cereal uh, bowl for her. Um, this is organic pumpkin. And uh, what I do is I just take about, let's see, oh, not quite a half scoop of, um, of the rice cereal maybe a little bit more and then um, and then I sprinkle some of the monkey biscuit on it not a lot just a little bit Frankie stop okay then we mix in are you holding on baby Let me see so funny. Uh, we mix in a couple of uh, a couple of good sized baby spoons of, uh, of the pumpkin, and then um, I pour just a little bit of the formula in there, and then I set this aside, and then I put the funnel in the little bottle here. I've tried to get her to use a bigger bottle, but the nipples are too big, and she 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 won't drink out of them. So we're just going to stick with this one for right now. So I pour in about oh three ounces or so. It's getting stuck because, oh, yep, she sees it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, baby, hang on, hang on. Gotta, we got, we hang on, we got to warm it up still. I know, I know, I know, you, I know you, you know what it is, I know. Oops. Okay, I rinsed that out. Okay, then, uh, we, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, calm down. Okay, then, we're going to put this in the microwave. I put the, the cereal in there for about uh, 12 seconds. And then I put the milk or the bottle in there. One second here. Clean up this mess. We put the bottle in. Um, for about three ounces, it's about, I don't know. 14 to 16 seconds or so. And then I mix this in really good. Mix it real good. 